Hello and welcome, I'm Alex and what I'm going to be doing today is a rebuild on a rear brake caliper of my 2006 Fabia uh, VRS. Uh, these were commonly used on a lot of Volkswagen Audi Group um, cars and a common problem with them is that the aluminium goes all furry, oxidises where the seal is, where the rubber boot seal is and then it prevents the piston being moved back in which is what happened to the one that i've got on my car went to do the brake pads and the discs and it wouldn't go back in so i decided that i was going to get um, a spare one to rebuild and then just swap them over really quickly rather than going through the hassle of taking the one off my car rebuilding it and then putting it back together uh, this was advertised as an aftermarket part um, so i thought well I'll, I'll take the chance on it. It turns out it's actually a Lucas, which I believe Lucas have been used on most standard fittings in the Volkswagen Audi Group range anyway. So really pleased with that. It cost me less than £10. Before I go ahead and do anything else, I'm going to give it a really good clean. Um, I've pushed the piston back in just so there's no water getting in there. And I've also um, bunged up the cutoff brake hose. So now that's all cleaned up, I'll just give it a uh, pump through using the handbrake mechanism. There we go, that's the piston out, and that's the rubber boot out. Condition of the piston is pretty good, I'll probably give it a quick polish over with metal polish just to be on the safe side. And inside there is the main seal. Be very careful when you're taking these things out. There we go. Because obviously the last thing you want to do is put a scratch on the inside. Which could stop the seal working properly. I hope you can see it reasonably well. But the second part there is just where the, the proper seal goes in. And that is looking in really good condition. Obviously there's a little bit of brake fluid there. Um, cleaning the inside out, I would only really recommend using specified brake cleaner. Obviously it goes without saying use new parts uh, I've got the boot the seal sliders and a couple of the slider boots as well and also I'm sticking a new lead nipple in it's an 11 mil um, spanner size which it looks pretty decent, but when you've got a brand new one, no point skimping. So the next step is going to be to put the internal seal in. Um, which is just there. What I will be doing with this is giving it a coat of brake fluid just to help it sit in simple reason is it's designed to be used in brake fluid situations and this will help when the piston goes in it'll help just lubing it up and it'll also make it go in a bit better as well 
and then it just pops in like that. nicely fitted and I've also got a brand new rubber boot as well that goes over the piston and seats in the second uh, recess there with that uh, some people put rubber grease on absolutely fine the only thing I would say is if you're putting rubber grease on just make sure you give it a wipe down afterwards because grease does tend to hang on to dust and dirt um, and the last thing you want is any more dirt sticking around that sealer That will just help him with fitment and make everything seat properly. Don't need to put masses on. Then all we do is just slide the piston in. Like that. And then you just seat the lip of the boot into there first. It should go in quite easily. Then just be very, very careful to make sure it's not snagging on nothing. And using a brake rewind tool. slowly turn it back in the main thing with these is, is not to force them when you're returning the piston just get them as level as possible do them by hand and they should just go straight back in and there we go that's the piston fully returned in if you are going to be doing this more than a few occasions i would certainly recommend getting one of these rewind tools i picked this up for about 15 quid second hand and it's been an absolute godsend um, the way it works is that goes in that way and that connects so you can push or you can rewind. One's left threaded, one's right threaded, but it just levels things up and it also gives you a little bit of extra pressure on so that you're not trying to push down with your hand all the time. Good investment, definitely worthwhile. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Give me a like if you enjoyed it.